Hello everyone, it's me Shraddha from How to Electronics. In this tutorial, we will interface carbon dioxide and DVOC gas sensor CCS811 with Arduino and measure carbon dioxide and total volatile organic compounds in the air. The CCS811 air quality breakout board is a digital gas sensor capable of sensing a wide range of total volatile organic compounds and equivalent carbon dioxide with metal oxide levels. We can thus use this sensor to identify the air quality whether the air is pure to breathe or not. So without getting any delay, let's get started. This video is brought to you by NextPCV. NextPCV presents a PCV analysis tool called NextDFM. Using this tool, you can check the manufacturability of the PCV. For cover files, the software can automatically identify the layer type, adjust the drilling format and alignment. And for the PCV files, the software can directly analyze the PCV. The showby can get started and can be opened by dragging in without the tedious steps of reading files. You can also use the jigsaw function to realize personalized jigsaw through jigsaw tools. We can finish this in 5 minutes compared to CAN350 which takes 1 hour. The best part of this tool is about the impedance calculation which is simpler than SI9000. So I highly recommend you to try this tool. The download link is given in the description. Let's learn about the CCS811 sensor. The air quality sensor breakout board is a digital gas sensor that senses a wide range of total volatile organic compounds along with equivalent carbon dioxide and metal oxide levels. The sensor can be used for monitoring indoor air quality. The system can be used with a microcontroller unit which includes an analog to digital converter and an I2C interface. CCS811 supports intelligent algorithms to process raw sensor measurements to output a total volatile organic compound value or equivalent CO2 levels. The sensor can support multiple measurement modes like low power consumption mode and ideal mode for extending battery life in portable applications. Now let's see some of its specifications. The sensor has integrated microcontroller unit embedded in it and it operates between 1.8V to 3.6V. The sensor has I2C interface with I2C address. The power consumption is very low and optimized. It can measure carbon dioxide up to 8192 parts per million and total volatile organic compounds up to 1187 parts per billion. The sensor is compatible with Arduino as well as CircuitPython. Since the sensor has 12-bit integrated ADC, it is highly accurate to use. This sensor is little bit expensive. You can buy it from Amazon. The price varies depending upon the manufacturer and the cost is around $10 to $30. Some of the CCS811 has extra temperature sensor that will charge you a lot. You can buy any of them. Now let's see how to interface this sensor with Arduino. So here is the connection diagram. The VCC pin is connected to 3V. The WIC and ZNT pin is connected to ZNT of Arduino. And the STA and SCL pin are connected to A4 and A5 of Arduino. I used breadboard to assemble the circuit. And instead of Arduino Uno, I used Arduino Nano board. There is a pre-built library for CCS811 by the Adafruit. You can get the library download link from the description. And the library is also written by Sparkphone. You can use any of these two libraries to get the total volatile organic compound and carbon dioxide data from the sensor. So this is a basic simple code from the example. I used Adafruit library. Using this library, you can easily get the CO2 and TVOC value. So select the correct Arduino board and the COM port and upload it to the Arduino board. Once the code is uploaded, you can open the serial monitor. The sensor will start working and so the values like 400 ppm for CO2 and 0 for TVOC. It means your sensor is working fine. But now we need to test the sensor working. For that, blow some air on the sensor. In my case, I will use hand sanitizer as it is a volatile compound and evaporates quickly. When the hand is placed near the sensor, you can see the serial monitor displaying the excess TVOC and CO2 value in air. Thus, you can use the sensor to determine the air quality. Alright, now let's just display the TVOC and CO2 values on OLED display. 
For that, I have attached 0.96 inch OLED display to the circuit. Here is the breadboard assembly unit. You can assemble this easily on the breadboard. On the code part, I use the same library again. But the code for OLED display is added. For OLED display, you need additional two libraries. So upload this code to the board as well. Once the code is uploaded, the OLED display will immediately start displaying the carbon dioxide and total volatile organic compound value. At normal condition, it will display the TVOC and CO2 of your room, but when you start testing, you can expose it to the polluted environment. I will test it by evaporating the hand sanitizer near the sensor. The value will rise very high. This is how the measurement of TVOC and CO2 is done. So here is my website article where you can read the written tutorial. The schematic codes and libraries link is given as well. Thank you so much for watching.